Fungi aren't a new phenomenon, and many strains are very beneficial for our overall health and well-being. But not all strains are created equal. A new fungus known as Candida auris poses a severe threat to global health. If you'd like to find out more, stay tuned into the video as we take a look at what it is and how to combat it. Hello, and welcome to Five Pillars Health, the channel where we show you the best ways to get healthy and stay healthy through the five pillars of sleep, hydration, nutrition, movement, and sunlight. Candida auris was first discovered in Japan in 2009. Since then, it has spread to nations all over the world. It got its name from the Latin word auris, which means ear. C. auris was first discovered in the ear canal of its first patient at the Tokyo Metropolitan Geriatric Hospital. It is an infection that can affect the ear, but actually affects many other parts of the body as it can travel along the bloodstream. Candida is not necessarily always a bad thing, and you or someone you know has probably already dealt with some form of candida in their lives. The human body is a host to many different types of fungus. One of these types is known as candida. It lives in small amounts in our mouths, belly, and skin, and poses no problem to our general health. What causes these yeasts to multiply out of control depends on the environment they're living in. When it grows out of control, it creates an infection known as candidiasis. There are many types of candidiasis which can be easily treated with over-the-counter medicine and antibiotics. Common examples of candidiasis are thrush, genital yeast infections, and diaper rash. The environment that causes these yeasts to multiply beyond a normal level is an unwell body, causing the yeast to move into the bloodstream or lungs. What differentiates the C. or a strain of Candida from others is that it is a multi-drug resistant yeast. In other words, traditional treatments for fighting Candida do not seem to have an effect on Candida auris. Traditional strains of Candida are treated with three kinds of antifungal medicines, which are easily accessible all over the world. They are Clotrimazole, Myconazole, and Nystatin. They are administered orally or intravenously. Patients are treated with one of the three until they get the correct response and the candida dies. What makes candida aura so dangerous is that it may not respond to any of the three types of medication, making it harder to treat and more difficult to stop the spreading. If you enjoy our videos, remember to like and subscribe. Health authorities are increasingly worried about this strain of yeast due to three things. One, its resistance to many well-known antifungal medicines. Two, it can easily be mistaken for another illness without specific technology. Conventional laboratory methods also cannot easily detect it, and unless it is picked up early, it can spread and become increasingly difficult to manage. Three, it can lead to outbreaks. Candida auris is spread through coming into contact with contaminated surfaces or contaminated people. Healthcare settings can quickly become hotspots for the spread, more testing and work needs to be done to better understand how it spreads, and missing information means we can't always know the best ways to stop it spreading. Most transmission occurs through contaminated hospital surfaces. The yeast can stick to intravenous lines and blood pressure cuffs. It is also hard to clean off. The symptoms of Candida auris are not a one-size-fits-all definition. Symptoms depend on the person's overall health, those with a compromised immune system are more prone to catching Candida auris. Those who have recently undergone any surgical operation are also more likely to develop it because hospitals are Candida auris hotspots and open wounds are more vulnerable to catching anything in a clinical environment. Many illnesses can bring on Candida auris because it leaves a person vulnerable to any sort of fungal contamination. These illnesses include bloodstream infections, wound infections, and ear infections. Some people with Candida auris may not exhibit any symptoms at all, whilst others may start presenting fever and chills. Candida auris mostly presents as bloodstream infections, but it can also lead to respiratory system infections and even central nervous system infections, affecting our internal organs and skin. Treatment of infections is difficult because Candida auris frequently develops resistance to antifungal medications. Hospitalization and intravenous antifungal medicines may be required in severe situations. 
Healthcare providers should take precautions to reduce the risk of infection by preventing the spread of Candida auris in healthcare settings. The best treatment for Candida auris is early detection, and if it's in a hospital setting, closing off entire wards will help stop the spread. Prevention is currently the best treatment, and improving diagnosis will help identify and prevent it from spreading further. We also need improvements in the study of fungi to better understand how it operates and moves. This will help stop the spread of Candida auris and any other possible yeasts that may pose a threat to global health. Hospitals also need to make sure they're on top of disinfecting and cleaning. As an individual, making sure we are maintaining a sustainable bill of health and a strong immune system is the best way to protect us, and others who are more vulnerable, from contracting it. Check out the Five Pillars channel for all the info you need on keeping your immune system in perfect shape. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with someone who could benefit from it. Why is Candida auris suddenly a problem if it's been around since 2009? Experts have said that climate change is a huge factor when it comes to how quickly it has grown. The species have been forced to live in higher temperatures because of climate change, which fungi wouldn't ordinarily prefer. Most fungi prefer the cooler temperatures of the soil. These adaptions to higher temperatures means fungus is able to thrive in the higher temperatures of the human body, which sit at 36 to 37 degrees Celsius. Candida auris is not the only bad fungus posing a potential threat. The WHO published a list of pathogens that could also become a threat to global public health. Currently, there are 19 fungi on the list, with Candida auris being one of four classified as critical priority. This means that the fungus does not respond to most antifungal medicines available. Candida auris and other types of harmful yeasts are controllable with deliberate effort that starts with the individual. By making sure we are as healthy as we can be in the most sustainable way possible, we can make sure we and our loved ones never fall victim to nasty pathogens. Have you heard of Candida auris and is it a problem in your country? Tell us where you're from in the comments below and we can see how far this pathogen has already spread.